Welcome to a taste for travel. Take a journey into the delicious dining of our destinations. Hungry? Let's go. When you have to go without everyday things, food, hot water, heating, that's really, you know, it's a really hard way to have to, have to live, really. And that's devastating for most people. You start to make a lot of mistakes at work, and they suggest that I see a doctor who diagnosed me with, at that time, work-related stress. I unfortunately uh, took two TIA strokes. I did spend a time in hospital to come out to discover that I couldn't go back to my work. Worked all my life, army, sales, when uh, my health deteriorated with a heart condition. Then my married life deteriorated as well. After a period of time, they decided it wouldn't be viable for me to return to that kind of work because I. I couldn't handle the pressure of it, so it led me into the benefit system. We just struggled, started to struggle. Things started to get quite sort of dramatic and, you know, things were just starting to get on top of me because I just wasn't doing what I should have been doing as a mother. 
I do have a 10-year-old um, daughter as well, so I do try and provide for her as well, which makes it more difficult, but it's a case of trying to budget or having to go without. I think if the food bank had not been there to keep me going, I don't think I'd be here today. No, I'm not needing the food bank anymore, but I'm glad it was there when I needed the help. To find out that there is places there that can help you with food and other things, it's, it's an amazing thing to, to have put in front of you. Thank you for experiencing a taste sensation with charitable travel.